At Twin Cities Orthopedics, we believe less pain is your gain. So we stay in the fight with you. This is your victory, and you've earned it. Welcome to this Timberwolves Fast Break presented by Twin Cities Orthopedics. Marnie Gellner and Rebecca Brunson after a five-point Timberwolves win, a night where the Wolves held off a furious yeah. fourth-quarter rally in Cleveland, held off a 51-point night from Darius Garland, got the win, and got a big night out of D'Angelo Russell. They did. It's five points is a lot closer than it was throughout the entirety of the game. The Wolves came out, and their offense was flowing. It had a lot to do with D'Lo and his approach to the game. He came out. He took the shots that he normally takes, but they were falling tonight. He got his mid-range going. He was able to snake into the paint and just pull up wherever his spots were. He shot the three ball well, four or five from three. The 12 assists, too, getting his teammates involved. So this is what you expect to see from D'Lo. He hadn't been shooting the ball well. He finally figured out and that was the catalyst for this team and their offense getting going early on in this game to start it off. 11 of 13 overall, 4 of 5 from 3. The Timberwolves shot 56% as a team and Chris Finch liked what he saw tonight out of D'Angelo Russell. He came out hot. He was really locked in on the shooting. It looked good when he left his hand. Um, but then uh, the game, we blew the game open when he was able to get his teammates involved and, um, you know, also continue to look for his own. Now it's on to Orlando for the Timberwolves. After a couple of days off, Jalen Suggs, Paolo Bancaro, the number one overall draft pick. The Timberwolves continue on this four-game road trip. Game three starts 5.30 coverage, 6 o'clock tip from Orlando on Wednesday. Thanks for watching this Timberwolves Fast Break presented by Twin Cities Orthopedics.